Welcome to this Thrive Team Builder tutorial that will show you how to add and customize a homepage template. So let's start by accessing Thrive Team Builder from the WordPress admin dashboard. And then here, make sure you are on the site wizard tab. So when going through this wizard, you will see that this step from here allows you to choose a homepage for your website and customize it. So I've made my selection here in the site structure part of my wizard. And then from here, from this dropdown list, you can set a ready-made page for your homepage or an existing page, or you can even choose your blog as your homepage. And in the following minutes, I will be going through each of these options. So let's start with the first one. One small note I'd like to add here is the following. So regardless what page you choose here, that change will also be applied on the homepage that you've set here in the general WordPress settings under the reading section. So whatever you set here will replace the homepage that you've set in the general WordPress settings. Okay, so let's start with the ready-made template. So with this selected here, you can proceed with actually picking a template from the next dropdown that's located here in this view. You can see that this pop-up or this light box appeared on my screen and I can just browse it and pick a ready-made design for my template. Okay, so after I've made my selection, I'm gonna go here on the templates tab of the same navigation bar and you will see listed the active homepage template right here at the beginning of this list under the single content templates. Now, unlike the other templates available in this list, you can see that the active homepage does not have any managing options available here at the bottom corner of this template card. Here's an example of how this managing options would look like. And the reason for this is due to the fact that this is a landing page and it's not a regular template that you might use on other pages from your website, like the ones that are displayed right here. Now, in order to customize this landing page, you just need to click here on this edit landing page button. And this will take you directly to the Thrive Architect editor. Now, once more, this is due to the fact that you are editing a landing page. So that's why the default editor that will be opened right up on your screen will be the Thrive Architect one. In the other situations in which you are editing a template, then that would mean that the Thrive Team Builder editor would open right up on your screen. Now you can start customizing your homepage with the help of the right sidebar list of elements and of course by using the left sidebar list of options depending on what element you have selected here in the breadcrumbs. Now from here you can open the template library and select a different homepage template if you want. So besides the regular active theme landing page sets, you will also be able to load landing page sets from other themes that are not active on your website. And the template itself will change but the brand color will remain the same, will be the one of your active theme. One thing to keep in mind here is that if you decide to change the landing page template entirely, it's better to do it before making any other content changes because otherwise all those changes will be lost. So customize the content, the images, the default text that's available right here so that it reflects what your business is about. And of course, make sure you also add the correct links to the buttons that are set throughout this landing page. All right, now let's go back to the site wizard and see what other options we can use here when setting up our active homepage. Okay, so this time let's select an existing page as our homepage. So after you make the selection from here, you can go ahead and open once more this dropdown list and choose from an already existing page from your website. I'm just gonna go with this one that's already selected. That's called homepage 2.0. Then click choose and confirm my selection, of course. And now let's go back to the template section and see how this changed my homepage template. So now the active homepage will not be a landing page anymore. It will be this basic homepage template that has the rest of the options right here, just like the other templates have it. Then again, if you want to add a new homepage template, you will now be able to do that from here because in the previous case, you were not able to do the fact that your homepage was actually a landing page. So now let's add a new homepage template. Let's name it homepage 3.0. Keep this selection right here. And then in this dropdown list, this last field, it's called homepage. Now let's click on start from scratch because maybe we want to create something from zero. And now you can see that I've managed to add two separate homepage templates and I can use either of them as my 
default active homepage. I just have to open this list of options and set it as a default template. Now let's see the editing options for the template. So if I click here on the edit button, this will trigger the Thrive Team Builder editor. So now you will be editing a template rather than a landing page as shown in the previous example. The options are available both here in the left sidebar as well as here in the right sidebar list of elements. Now let's go back to the site wizard one more time. We already discussed the ready-made and existing page templates. Now let's look over the blog list set as a home page. Let's click on choose to save our selection and then swipe back to the template section. So now the default blog page template has become my active template and it's now listed here under the list templates. Here as well, you will not have the option of adding a home page template as was the case with the existing page options. But what you can do here is duplicate this one. And now you should have two separate blog page templates that you can alternate depending on which one you want to have as your active home page. Here as well, if you click on edit, you will access the Thrive Team Builder editor right away and you can start making all the customization you want for your blog list template. So as you can see, you can customize your homepage templates using both Thrive Architect and the Thrive Team Builder editors. Now, I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial about how to add and customize a homepage template and don't hesitate to check out other tutorials of this type if you want to find out more about Thrive Team Builder. Yeah.